Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, everyone. How are you today? Very good, teacher, and you? <laughs> I'm very well, thank you, Liliana. Welcome to this class, number three. Okay, Liliana, Robert, Daniela, and Wilbur. Thank you so much for being on time. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening. I'm just very well. Thank you. For That's asking. right, teacher. <laughs> what about you? Very good, teacher. I am ready for class. Okay. <laughs> that is nice. Yes. Okay. How was your day today? It's Wednesday, July 5th, 2023. Mm -hmm. Yes, today is 5th, July 5th. How was your day? Was good? It was relaxed. It was tired. How do you describe your day? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Okay. Yes, we're going to start because it's eight. 8 p.m. o'clock. So today is the class number three. Welcome everyone. Let me go ahead and continue. Um, well, the agenda for today, we have a list, list on objective. We have a review, would and could. And also we are going to learn how to use some time ex expressions, okay? And at the end, we're going to have a presentation. So, well, the lesson objectives for today, at the end of this class, you will be able to present the benefits you will bring to your company. So you remember the, the homework. I told you, uh, try to try to describe or try to think about the benefits that you will provide to your company and you're going to uh, express or uh, present to the whole class. <clears throat> also, we're going to learn, we're going to use time expression in a conversation, okay? That, that are the main objectives for this lesson. Okay, I have a review review you remember the first class was can and the second class uh we study good so today we're going to make a review okay um try to think what will be the best option to use in these sentences okay i we have, then we have this pace run very fast uh -huh. I train hard every day. So which one do you consider that is the correct option? I can. I can. I can. Okay. I can go very fast. Okay. Very good. So this is the this is the 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 correct option. Okay, let me see. The second sentence that we have. When I was a baby, I could walk, but I, uh-huh, run. Mm -hmm. I could. I couldn't, right? I couldn't. Yes. When I was a baby, I, w I could walk, podía caminar, but I couldn't 
run. No podía correr. Right? Okay. Okay, number three. He uh -huh, played football yesterday because he hurt his leg. Cool. Couldn't. Couldn't. Cool. Couldn't. Cool. Negative. Yes, because Negative. if yeah, if you um if you have if you have like a I don't know if you have been hurt, so you cannot play, right? Broke your leg. Yeah. Okay, very good. Number four. I'm sorry. I'm not feeling well. I'm uh huh. Go to the party. I can't. I can't. I can't. can't. And I can't. Go to the party. Okay, good. Number five. My grandma used to be very good at languages. She uh -huh, speaks Spanish, Italian, and English. She can. Be... She, can. she has that ability, right? Remember that it's to express abilities. She can speak Spanish, Italian, and English. Okay. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. What the mistake? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that is a correct option. I don't know why, they, why it, it has yeah. like a mistake. Okay. With the platform. Uh -huh. Okay, let's move on. This exercise is so difficult. Uh -huh. Then it's a question. Could you help me, me? please? Can Could you or can Could. you help me, please? Can you help me? Or could you help me? Can you help me? Can you help me? Could you help me? Okay. Can you help me? Okay, let me let me see. Uh huh. Can you help me, please? It's more well, common. In this case, yes, uh, it could be both. So, puede, es válido, se puede decir ambos. Se escucha bien. Okay. Uh, but uh, we are talking about that is present, right? Is. So, in this case, is. yeah, we're going, it, it is better that you can use. Yes. Can. Okay. Well, let me see next. Number seven. You mm -hmm. use your phone here, sir. Please sort it off. Uh huh. Can't. Can't. You can't. Uh, can't. When he's not allowed to can't. use the cell phone. Can't. Okay. Can't. Very good. Can't. Okay. I uh -huh. roll my tongue. Uh huh. You do it. I can roll my tongue. For... Tongue. Uh -huh. uh, I I couldn't roll my tongue. Can you do it? Okay. You say I couldn't. Or I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, my tongue. Uh huh. Can you do it? Can you do it? Can you do it? Can you do it? Okay. Good. Very good. Okay. Number nine. The students, the students. Uh -huh, understand the, the explanation, students. so they asked the teacher to repeat. The students couldn't. The students couldn't. Okay. Okay, very good. And then number 10. Okay, 
She can't. can't. Can't skate when she was a teenager. But now she's a professional. Huh? Skater. 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 Okay. So, um, remember that was in, in the past time. So it will be better. Couldn't. Uh -huh. Because was, it was in the past. Was a teenager. Yeah, when, when she was a teenager. Okay. Very good. Remember that couldn't is the past tense of can, right? This is the past tense. Could it, could is the past tense of can. Okay. Good. Do you have questions here? No? No, for sure. No question. No. Okay, very good. Yesterday, I, I told you that we are going to review. We're going to review... Um, what is the difference or or, or why are similar could and would so could is the past form of the verb can mm -hmm. and would is the past form of the word will okay the term could is used to make a request or a suggestion that is um, for requests and suggestion, and also uh, could be possible situation, asking permission, making suggestions, making a request, right? And would also it is it is used to indicate willingness, okay? Like a, you are able to to do, um, or consequences, right? What happened after one option? What is the consequence? Okay. Or probability. Also, it is used to make a um, request, ask permission, or making an um, offer. Okay. And for imaginary situations too. We're going to see the examples. So, here we have, you could book a cat. So is that a request or uh huh? What is that? It's it's past, teacher. Uh huh. We are talking about the past. You could book a cab. A cab. Uh huh. It's like a reservation, maybe. Uh, yeah, it is like a reservation. Book, book a reservation. Yes. Um, okay. Is it, it is, is like a taxi. possible, right? Possibility. He's talking about possibility. So you could. Lo pudo haber hecho. We're talking about that possibility. So also we have, could you come with me to the clinic? What is that? Is that a request? Uh -huh. Yes, it is a request, right? If you ask someone, like a favor, right? Could you come? It's a with polite me? request. It is a polite request, yes. Okay. So. Here we have another two examples with would. The thief would be punished soon by the law. What is that? The against member teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the thief. Yeah. Yes, that is a consequence, right? That is a consequence. I don't know what he or she did, but that will be a consequence. That will be punished by the law okay would it be possible to complete the painting by tomorrow 
Mm-hmm. Is that possible? Like a po probability, probability, right? Probability. Yeah. Okay. Here we have examples. I sent the video, the link for the video. Did you watch that video? If you didn't, I have here like the examples and the most the most important information that you may uh found in that video or that you may find. So past tense. So we were talking that could is the past tense form of can, right? Here we have examples. I can run a mile in 10 minutes. That is like a, the present, right? So in the past, we can say, I could run a mile in 10 minutes when I was younger, okay? We're talking about like a long time ago, right? Teacher. Yes? Excuse me, uh, but the verb is in the base form when you use uh, could in, uh, in past, when the sentencing is in past. In this case, when uh, you mentioned uh, could, mm -hmm. wrong is in the base form. Yes, it is. It doesn't okay. change. No, it doesn't change because uh, uh, the auxiliary is this. That ah, indi okay. Indicate okay. past. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. We have another example here with would, past tense form of will. I know we will win the match, right? So if we if we are talking about past, I knew. So uh, new is past tense of no. I knew, okay, we would win the match. In this case, yes. Uh, we knew that. Sabíamos que ganaríamos, right? <clears throat> that is the other. Um, this is the form to, to talk about what happened before. Okay. Do you have questions about this in the past past tense forms of uh can and will? Teacher, the questions? last sentence is mean. Mm -hmm. The last the last two sentences means the 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 same thing, right? Because I imagine that. Uh, because the auxiliary is different. Okay. The in this case we are saying we know we will we will okay sabe, sabemos que ganaremos. Okay. Uh, it is in present. Okay. But the second example it says ah, we okay. knew. We knew. Sabíamos. Ya, algo que ya sabíamos. Algo que eso ya okay. pasó. Y, y ahora estamos hablando de ese evento y estamos diciendo, sabíamos que ganaríamos. Uh -huh. We knew we would win. Uh -huh. Yeah, the first one is in, in future and the, and the uh -huh. second example is in, in past. Okay. Probably okay. you would see this later on because this is this explanation is like a uh, for intermediate right but i want that you uh have ideas how to use could and would what are the situations or scenarios where you can use it because the material just says uh could be and would be it doesn't uh give more explanation right so, but I'm trying to go ahead to to explain to you in advance what are the situations or um, how are the different ways to use could and would. Okay. 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 Also, we have possible situations, right? Or um, 
imaginary situations. With could, okay, this is a possible situation. It could rain tonight, okay? Possible. John isn't answering his phone. He could be busy, okay? That is possible, okay? Possible situations. The reason why he doesn't answer the phone is because he's busy, okay? And here, the other example that we have is, if I had a million dollars, I would buy a beach house, right? Algo que usted se imagina, imagin situación imaginaria, okay? It, it is not, it is uh, no like a uh, possible, but, pero sí se lo puede imaginar, okay? Like, si hablamos que es posible es porque usted ve aquí, que ve señales que sí va a pasar, okay? That is possible situations. <clears throat> So if you win the mil, uh, that that uh, million of dollars, so also I could buy a beach house, right? Uh, si se lo gana, Teacher. si lo podría comprar, yes? Ah, okay, sí, sí, ahí me respondió. <laughs> si okay. lo podría comprar, es como un futuro. Yes. I mm -hmm. will buy a beach house. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pero si ya eso pasó en el, si ya se lo ganó, right? So you can buy it. You, you could buy I could it. buy. Yes. I could buy. Okay, because it's a, a possibility. It's a zero condition. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you will see that later on, right? In the, in the, probably in the, I don't know if you will take, after this model, you will <coughs> take, uh, Intermediate, right? I guess it's just six mo six models are from basic beginners, and then you start seven to... level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Six niveles uh, de inter de básico. Luego creo que son otros seis de intermedio. Okay. Okay. So another example polite expressions we were speaking about that before right when you make a polite uh uh expressions so it for example it could be a, a, a suggestion right we could try that new italian restaurant that is a suggestion that you can um make someone uh making offers also Right. Uh, would you like some tea? There you use would you, would you like, okay? If you make an offer. Te gustaría. Yes, te gustaría. Algo de té. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So making requests. So when you make a request, you can use uh, both, okay? But it depends how you use uh, the, the, the structure mm -hmm. sentence. In this case, look at the difference. Could you open the window, please? Okay, could you open? So if you use would, would you mind, okay, opening the window? But you cannot use could you mind? That is no the correct way to say it, okay? Teacher, es como te importaría abrir la ventana. Uh-huh, yes. Podrías, if you use Algo could. Así. Yes, if you use could, podrías. If you use would you mind. Okay. Yes, te importaría si abres la ventana. Asking for permission. Also, you can use uh, both of them could or would okay if you want to ask for permission for example could you could i borrow your car for a couple of days uh-huh would 
Okay, would it be okay if I borrow your car for a couple of days? Okay, but look at the difference, okay? How you're going to make the sentence structure. Would you mind if I borrowed your car for a couple of days? Okay, you're asking for permission. Okay, good. Uh, do you have questions about the differences or uh, similarities, how to use could and would? If you have questions, please let me know. Here we have examples, okay? The examples are according to the explanation. Number one, would you mind lending me some money? What is that? Is that a request? Is that a permission, suggestion, consequences? What is that? Request, Isha. Re request, okay, good. Number two, Claudia could already speak three languages when she was eight. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is that? It's willingness, right? Like a willingness. Do you know what is willingness? No, teacher. Willingness? Voluntad. Uh -huh. Voluntad or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you have okay. the willingness, if you have the willingness, right, to, to learn three languages, you are going to do it, right? Okay. Krishna isn't answering his phone. He could be busy. What is that? Possibility. Possibility, right? Could I use your laptop to send an email? Uh huh. Request. Request. Okay. If I became a president, I would make college education for education free for everybody. Mm -hmm. Possibility. 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 Right. Or the consequence, right? If 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 I uh become president, th this will be like a the result. Okay. Do you know where the manager is? This is a question. So we have to to uh, we have one answer here. No, no, sorry, but you couldn't ask his assistance. You could ask his assistance. Uh huh. Is that is that like a suggestion, right? Number seven. Would it be okay if I took the day off tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Possibility. Possibility. Okay. Good. Okay. As you can see, there are different scenarios, different ways to use these words. Okay. Just what you have to pay attention is like um the context. Okay how you are going to use it. Do you have questions? Please let me know. Raise your hands. Okay, Jose Andres will be just a listener today. Okay, if you have questions, try to think on that. I will take the attendance now and let me know later, okay? Liliana Laura? Hello. Are you here, Liliana? Liliana Laura? Please, no? Yes, okay. Juliana Maria? Juliana Maria Amaya? No? 
Jul Julio Aristides. Julio. Hi, teacher. I am driving just right now. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you. Ah, uh, Kathy Briseida. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Hazel Berenice. Good evening. Present. Thank you. Jose Andres. Okay, he's just listening today. Ah, uh, lady. Present. Thank you. Doris. Janet. Daniela Lisset. Present teacher. Okay, Mauricio de Jesus. Gilberto Benito. Present teacher. Okay, Maria Leticia. Present teacher. Thank you. Rolando Danilo. Present teacher. Okay, Salvador. <coughs> Alberto, Salvador Alberto, no, okay, um, Roberto Carlos, present teacher, okay, Cindy Janet, present teacher, Carla Ibari, Sorry, Carla. Okay. Present. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. William Boris. Present teacher Green. Okay, good evening. Silvia. Silvia Stella. Okay, no. Um Carlos Ardesto. Wilber Francisco. Here, teacher. Present, Present teacher. Thank you, Wilber. Who's that here? Carlos Ernesto? Present teacher. Okay. Just one question, Carlos. Is the first class for you? Because I don't remember. Uh, no, teacher. Oh, well, that means. No, teacher. It's the third, third, third class, maybe. Yesterday I, I came to stay oh, yesterday. the class. Yesterday, no, right. Okay, I see. I, I can see. Yeah. Okay. I can see your attendance on, on Monday and today. Well, yes, thank yes. You. Thank okay, you. thank you. Okay, good. Um, okay. After the, that, that review that we have today, so now I, I want to listen to you. Did you prepare the presentation? Yeah. One or two minutes about the benefits that you bring to your company. I, I, do you remember that I told you, no, your company, you can just think in a different company, like uh, uh, the ideal company that you would like to work. Who is ready? Raise your hands and let me know. If you are not ready, I can give you time to work on it. Okay, lady, lady is ready. Thank you. Who else? Miss, no sé si puedo presentar. Oh, sería leer. Yes. Sería presentar. You can read it, yes. Or if you have the ideas in your mind, it's okay. You just can you can just tell us what are your ideas. Okay, lady, go ahead. Había presentado, había preparado una presentación. No sé oh, si puedo compartir. sure, sure. Let me stop sharing my, and you can share your presentation. Go ahead. Let me know if you have the option that says share screen.
No sé si se ve. Yes, I can see it. Yes. Okay. Benefits I will bring to a new company if I have the opportunity to work in it are I could learn fast. Mm -hmm. I could train teachers, principals, and the students okay. in literacy, medical, logical reasoning, and much more. Also, if I have the opportunity to work in it, I could create training plans. I would like to increase the skills in the area of human resource. resources. 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 I would like to train in leadership skills. I would like to teach about psychological first aid. And finally, I would like to perform self-care activities. Okay, that's it. Excellent. Yes. Okay, that is good. Very good. Very good presentation. Okay. Um. Aid. Aid. Fine. Okay, that is the only observation. Very good job. Someone else who is ready. If you don't have a presentation, it's okay. Don't worry. Just you can tell us uh, orally what you have. What are your ideas? Okay, Maria Leticia. Go ahead. La lady. Okay. <clears throat> the benefit that as a trainee employee could provide a company could be help in solving problem in decision making in the company or business it could also help achieve individual goals in addition it could do everything possible to promote promote a sense of progress at work and as a person, a positive attitude, it would be very good to increase efficiency, effectiveness, effectiveness and increase in productivity and improve the quality of work, it could be very important to improve communication skill and conflict managing, management and work environment of the cool hall also help in the formation of leader and likewise to train other members of the company. Finish. Okay, good. I have some observations for you. Okay. Uh, could. Okay, remember that you don't pronounce the letter L. Could. 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 Okay. I could help to solve problems, right? Positive attitude. Repeat that. Positive, positive attitude. Positive. Positive, positive attitude. Yeah, positive right. attitude. Positive attitude. Okay. Improve the quality. Improve the quality. Mm -hmm. Improve, okay. Improve. 
Yes. Environment. Environment. Yeah. Managing. Managing. Mm -hmm. Managing. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, other word that I found. Effectiveness. 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 Yes. That was good. Good ideas. Thank you so much, lady. Lady. Okay. Sorry, Maria Leticia. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Who else is ready? Please let me know. Not yet? But that, that is good. I mean, that is good that you try to speak more than one minute, right? Because there you, it doesn't Me matter. Teacher. Oh, Robert. Okay. Yes. It doesn't matter if you read, if you are reading, but it means that you have <clears throat> been thinking um, how to say that speech, right? Good. Go ahead, Robert. Okay, teacher. I write 10, ten lines. Okay. Okay. Um, my name is Roberto Carlos Alvarenga. If I had the opportunity to work in a new company, I could bring certain benefits to the company, such as teamwork, leadership, and discipline. I am a person who likes to learn a lot of and I like to help other people. I, I like collaborate with the company in the values, in the mission, and vision of the company. Only that teacher. Okay, good. Benefits. Benefits. Mm -hmm. I would like to learn, right? I would like to learn. Yes. I like okay. to collaborate collaborate yeah i like to collaborate okay i like to collaborate yes thank you roberto thanks each other. very good who else is ready remember um that here you have the opportunity right to to work and improve, right? If, if that is necessary, but if if you take advantage of the opportunity that you have, so you you will improve day by day. You will have better knowledge about the language because you are doing an effort to do to to improve your skills. Okay, we are trying to improve different skills: speaking, listening, writing, and reading too. If you don't, if you don't have it, I will give you the opportunity to do it later if you want at the end of the class. So, buddy, let me know if you if you are ready. Just raise your hand. Okay. You can think on your ideas and we're going to continue. Here I have a um, paragraph. We're going to start the new topic that is time expressions, okay? Talking about your experience, your work experience, okay? I need two volunteers in this conversation. First, I will read it for you and then you are going to read it for everybody. Oh, Daniela, do you want to participate in the conversation or do you have your presentation, Daniela? Um, conversation. Oh, you want to participate. Okay, thank you. Who else wants to be a volunteer? Me, teacher. Wilbur. Okay, Daniela and Wilbur. Okay, let me, let me read it for you first. It says, Julio says, tell me about your work experience. 
And Anna says, I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I quit. I'm sorry. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And have and you have not worked since you came back? No, really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay. Mm -hmm. How long have have you working your company? Have you occupied different positions? Okay, but that, that is an answer. Uh, that is a question that we're going to discuss later. Okay, ready, Daniela and Wilbur? Yes. Okay, ready. Okay. okay. Wilbur, you will be Julio and Daniela will be Anna. Go ahead. Uh, tell me about your work experience. I work at, at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. In quit because, because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked, worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for a long. Okay, good. Very good. 2018, 2016, I'm sorry, right? Um, since, okay. So there are the, the ways or the words that you that we are going to use when we refer to, to the time that has passed, right? Since. Okay. Um, I have Robert and Lady. Go ahead, Lady. You will be Anna. And Robert will be Julio. Go ahead, and then we have Gilberto. Okay. Uh, tell me about your work experience. I work at at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from two thousand eleven to. 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was used for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay. Since. 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 Uh -huh. And you have, since. yeah, and you have not worked since you came back, right? Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Gilberto. Sorry, Roberto and Lady. Now, Gilberto and Carlos. Go ahead. Gilberto, you will be Julio and okay. Carlos, Anna. Go ahead. Okay. Tell me about okay. your work. Tell me about your work experience. Uh, I worked at Unilever for the five years. 
actually I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you I have no work in sign. You come back. Uh, not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank thank you, so you much. Very good. Remember? Since. Since. Okay. Since. Since. And also remember this. Uh, quit. Quit. I quit. Okay. Quit. Quit. Means uh, renuncie. Okay. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. Okay. That was the reason. Okay. Good. Maria Leticia. Who wants to participate with Maria Leticia? Another volunteer? Teacher. Julio? Yeah. Thank you, Julio. Okay, you will be Julio. Julio is Julio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Maria will be Anna. Go ahead. Okay, uh, tell me about your, uh, your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It, it was just for a month until my project was done. Then I come came. I can came back to El Salvador. And you have no work uh, since you came back? Not really. I have done some in the independent 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 jobs. You know, but they have not been for long. Okay. Thank you, Letty. Very Thank good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Short period, okay? Very short period. Okay, Unilever. The, the, la U in esos casos, like uh, when, when we say universidad, we said university. Uh -huh. U. Unilever. Unilever. Yes. Okay, very good. Do you have questions about this? Okay, from, we know that is uh, desde, right? From 2011 to 2016. Desde el 2011 hasta El 2016, right? That is like a time expression, okay? From, we say the year, and then to, and then the other year, right? Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Is correct pronounce 2011 to 2016? Yes, you can say that. Okay. Both, both are valid. 2011 or? 2011. To... 2011 is correct too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks teacher. Okay. The other time expiration for, right? It was just for a short period of time. Okay. Then we Pe have period. 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 Yeah. Then we have it was just for eight months. Okay. There we have the specific time okay eight month okay until Teacher, my project was done yes can you pronounce 
uh, when Julio says, and you have not worked. Oh, worked. Yeah, that is good observation. It's not correct. Work it. Work. No, it's worked. That is with worked. T. Mm -hmm. it, it is in past tense. So it has to sound like T at the end. Okay. Work. Teacher, and it's correct pronounce word and then T, for example, word T. Mm, no. No correct. No. No. Not correct. You have to word. pronounce word. Mm -hmm. word. Word. Good observation there. Thank you. Okay. Word. Worked. Mm -hmm. Worked. 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 You have been studying the, the past tense. Yes or not? In the previous uh in the previous levels, have have you been working on the past tense? Han estudiado el, el pasado? Mm, de los a little bear, little bears. A little bit? Yes. A okay. Bit. Okay. But here we have a lot of birds in past tense, if you if you notice, okay. We have word. We have offered. Also, we have came, done. Done, yeah. Teacher, there are two rules for regular verb in past. Correct. Mm -hmm. There are rules for irregulars and also for regulars. Do you want to review that rule? I will prepare a presentation. Well, a review tomorrow for that rules. Okay. Please, for teacher. The, for the irregular, for, for regular, I'm sorry. Regular, yeah. Yeah. Regular. Okay, regular. There is review. And um, if you have a tip to pronunciation for regular, it's good for, for every every student in the in the class um we had to follow the rules there are some the rules, rules. Uh -huh. okay. there are some rules that we had to pay attention okay and yeah try to emphasize um the pronunciation according to the rules because um if you want to to speak very clear, right? That everybody understand your ideas and what you are trying to say. Yes, you have to be careful with the pronunciation. If you are uh, trying to express yourself in past tense, pasado, right? So you have yeah. to to make emphasis in the pronunciation of verbs to make to just to to make sure that everybody will understand that you are speaking in past tense. Because, because there are some verbs that are, they are, the pronunciation is almost similar, like this, this verb, like work, right? Work in present, in past is word. Word. Mm -hmm. Very oh. good observation there. Do you have questions about these expressions, time expressions? From, to, for, then, until, since, long. Do you have questions about that? Um, not sure. No questions. Okay. Good. Teacher, uh, yes. uh, on the thing, uh, when I, uh, I, I quiet or I quit, I quit. I, I don't know, I quit because quit. You say I was offered Quit. Quit. Mm -hmm. Quiet is Renuncie. like a, yeah, renuncie is silent. quit. Quiet is like a silence. Uh -huh. When you don't speak, you are quiet. Okay, but uh, when the other person says you're fired? Mm. Despedido. <laughs> Despedido. Yeah, <laughs> it is because you don't quit. Someone else quit for you. 
make make you quit right yeah <laughs> okay in this case is wilderness uh because says i i quit because oh willingness yes. to quit <laughs> yeah because yes. you have reasons <laughs> to do it right you 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 decide you have the decision to leave the job but if yes you... it's, it's my decision to correct I'll yeah quit. okay okay good to show okay volunteers for to answer this question for how long have you worked in your company have you occupied different positions who wants to answer that question mm -hmm. me teacher oh okay robert yes where do you work? Okay, uh, I work in prison for Salva in Lourdes, Cologne. Mm -hmm. I am a quality control. Mm -hmm. I, so work, I work at the company two, two years ago. And at the company is my, my first position, quality control. Mm -hmm. uh, however, I want to to arise in the company for that reason. I I am a student English because at the company it's very important to to know English because you 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 can apply for get, a different get, position. Get 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 other position. Uh -huh. Get other better position. Better position, yes. This is my opinion for that for that sentence. Okay, very good. That is good. So and you will get it. You will see. If you work on it, I mean you are working on it, right? At the end, so you will get the position that you that you want. Good. Thank you, Robert. Who else? Who else wants to answer that question? Teacher, yes. me which, which uh, one uh, sentence uh, uh, will be respond? Uh, uh, well, you. It is your decision. If you want, just to to give me a, a short answer, it's okay. One sentence. But if you want to give more okay, explanation, always, okay. re always relate relation with uh with my work, for example. Okay. Okay. Oh. Um. Uh, I work in in La Salle. Okay. It's a factory to um. Uh, to do towel okay. or make a towel, right? To make and to make towel, yeah. I have to one year to to work in the Lazar. And the idea of the studying is because uh, it's a grow personal, you know. Uh, because uh, sometimes uh, in the in my company I write uh, a lot of technical people and they uh, speak English, you know, and so uh, it's very shame, you know, when I really I don't understand them and because the I, I ain't here I stay here to uh, learn a little bit of English and try to understand. And can hear a, a, a little bit more money, you know, and try to uh, improve in the, my roles in the company. Okay. Very That's it. Good. Very good. So, in, in 
you said that you want to grow up, right? You want to, to have a better position. I understand that you have to grow up in the company. Right? Yeah. Okay. And it is yes, a challenge. Yes. It is a challenge for you when some people speak English in front of you and, and you can know maybe response or understand what they are saying, right? That is a challenge. Yes, it's a okay so you want how to do you know... say uh, uh uh siento pena i don't know uh, a chain i, be, I, feel I will be shamed yeah uh, yes because i don't know how to respond to them mm -hmm. okay and you want to learn a little bit not a little bit so you will you will uh have a advanced level when you get graduated from here Okay, you will see. So you will be able okay. to understand, you will be able to answer every one questions. You will see. But you had to make an effort, right? To study by yourself. Not only what you see in this class or what you um do in the platform, but also you had to to make an effort to try to understand, for example, um uh, if you want to improve your skills like listening, so try to watch videos or movies or series in English. Um, listen to music okay. in English. Yeah, that is a way that you will improve your okay. listening skills. Also participating, speaking, right? Um, if you don't have someone else uh, that you can speak with, in English, so try to do it, but uh, for you, in front of the mirror, or try to record your voice. If you record your voice in your cell phone, um, or any any other device that you may have, if you want to use it to record what you are saying, and then listen, listen to you, what you, I mean, what are you saying? What is how is your pronunciation? and evalu evaluate yourself, okay? Um, you will be able to improve so you can analyze, reflect about uh, what you are doing and what you need to improve, right? So we are responsible okay. for our learning and that is for everybody. So you are the only okay. one responsible about what you are doing and about your learning process, okay? If you dedicate time to, to improve your skills, you will get it in a shorter time, okay? You don't have to study uh, three or five years. No, just one or two years and you will be speaking English. So English is the easier language to learn. I have tried to learn another language, it's like a French, but that is, that is difficult. I can really, it. yeah, <laughs> it is more difficult than uh, other language. I mean, English is very easy, and Spanish is more difficult than English. It's someone that wants to, <laughs> yeah. to learn Spanish, uh, can tell you right that they they feel, um, that it's really difficult to learn in Spanish. Spanish is like, yeah, um, I heard that, yeah. I hear that that uh, Spanish is very difficult. Yes. Of course, is. with the, the, the people of the other country, right? Yeah. When they when they try to speak Spanish, it's very difficult for them. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, okay. when, maybe when you say uh, cerdo and maybe you can they say tunco and I don't know that <laughs> yeah or grammatical um topics too the grammar is difficult um because the birds have different ways to the conjugation of the birds is is more difficult to understand in spanish than english right well but we are yes. not speaking about how to learn in spanish we are learning english so we're going to continue <laughs> Here we have the okay, expressions, right. the expressions that we have 
being uh, learning in the in the paragraph here in the dialogue or conversation. Okay, use for plus period of time. Okay, the example that we have here. I worked in Diana for seven years, right? The company, right, Diana. I worked in Tiana for seven years. So we have four, and then the period of time that is seven years. That is the example. When we use four, then we use the period of time like this for eight months. Here is saying for a short period of time, it's in general, right? But also, you can provide the specific time. Seven years means like seven years. Okay, that is the way. That is the way that we're going to use for. And also, since we're going to use since plus a specific points in the past. I have worked there since two thousand five. A specific point. So the specific point here is two thousand five. Okay. Use from to state that to state the start and the end of the time. Okay, stayed there from January to November. For example, the example that we have here from 2011 to 2016. Okay. Then we have use then. To introduce a new event in a, in a series. I worked in the company until 2011. Then, okay, I introduced a new event. Algo que pasó después. Okay, I quit. Después, renuncié. Okay, use until to mark the end of an activity or period of time. For example, I worked in Panama until my project was done. Okay. It's saying the end of the activity or period until my project was done. Cuando terminó el proyecto, hasta entonces, right? Was, was over, says, really? Was over. Oh, was done. Oh, was over, I'm sorry. It is okay. it it means the same, but was it... over. Uh -huh. oh, okay, was done or was over. Yeah, it okay. means the same. Yes, I'm sorry. I was I remember the previous uh the previous sentence here that says uh, what is it? Wanted the project was done, right? Here <laughs> that was what I was saying the same but it was over but it means the same okay was over like done was done okay good do you have questions here teacher i yes. have a question and mm -hmm. um, this expression we we can use only um Simple present, simple past. Which one? All of them? All all them. Um or no specific no, period of not time. Not necessary. Simple present or simple past. Not necessary. Que not seas, necessary. Que sea solo simple past, no. You can use them also in simple present, but it depends of the scenario, right? You need to... Depend on the situation. Situation, yes. It depends of the context. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Another question you may have? No? Uh... Uh, it catches my eyes and uh, the until oh no since it uh, since. you have seen on some children that say since uh, 1942 maybe 
our our can be but it's the same means since since maybe right okay uh give me the example that you have carlos um uh, uh for example uh, and the the people uh, wear the the shirt about the set and in, in, in front of the the shirt since he, since he in 1942 for example mm -hmm. i imagine that the the, the brand mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. born maybe yeah and that is correct that is why it says uh since plus a specific point in the past okay it has since and then the year right yeah yes that is oh, the okay. reason that is the reason it's yes. past it isn't the... yeah. i believe i believe okay. uh, that is when the 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 company is created created or the brand is created and that they that yeah. gear oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay okay thank you some okay. brand uh, example uh mm -hmm. Aeropost in mm -hmm. his shirt appear mm -hmm. uh things and then uh, the gear the gear mm -hmm. yes good good observation or example okay if you don't have more questions about this we're going to move on we have here an example Okay, read about Nicole's work experience and fill in the blanks using for, since, from, or too long. Okay, we are going to fill in the blanks, okay? Let me see. Okay, Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated graduated from UCA University. She studied there. Uh -huh. Science. 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 Or from. Which one do you think? Because it had from 2005. Uh -huh. Two. Two, right? Around 2005 to 2011. 11. Uh huh. Then. Then she worked in Malta. Okay. Then she worked in Malta. Four. 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 Four seven years. Mm -hmm. Seven years. Then. Uh huh. Or, or until. Remember, read the, the the others the the sentence that is af that is uh after the the word that you're going to use. She was a child. Uh huh. When when uh huh. She was a child. She wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager mm -hmm, thinks Uh -huh. almost 
15 years retired. His name was Gonzalo. His name was Gonzalo and he worked there for from mm, no in this case is since yeah since 2015 like okay. here was four right four uh huh four for almost 15 years retire. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday. Uh -huh. From Monday to Saturday. And she loves her job. She was not worked there. Mm -hmm. Fine. Mm -hmm. Which word will be here? Unto. You have no work. Check the unto. Unto. She was no worker there until, but her team support her. What is the meaning of until? Do you remember that? Uh, to mark the end of an activity. The end of Period. an activity. The, the Period of time. Period of time. Period of time. Until it says, mark the end of an activity, right? For example, I work in Panama until my project was over. Okay. Mm -hmm. It says, today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday, and she loves her job. She was, I'm sorry, she has not worked there. Since this. Mm. A specific point in the past. Two. No, that is that is four. It sounds weird, right? If I said, let me see. But there is no another word. If we write until. <clears throat> she was not worried there until, but her team support her. Mm. It sounds weird, like it doesn't make sense. But uh, that all the words that we have, todas las palabras que tenemos, ninguna um, hace sentido. And them. Mm -hmm. She was, she has the word there. Then, aha, uh -huh. it makes more sense then. Maybe then. Okay. Mm -hmm. She has no word there, there then, but her team support her. Okay, good. 
who wants to read the complete paragraph? Volunteers, you can raise your hands. My hands. Okay, Robert, go ahead. Read. Yes, read the paragraph. Okay. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated. She, she graduated from Uka University. She studied, studied there from 2005 to 2011. Then she worked in Molsa for seven years. When she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager for almost 15 years retired. Retired. retired, retired. His name was Gonzalo and he worked there since 2015. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday and she loves her job. She has not worked there then, but her team supports her. Okay. She loves. Okay. She loves. Yes. Studied. 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 Retired. 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 Mm -hmm. Retired. Yeah. Studied. Teacher. Studied. Studied. Did. Did. Uh -huh. Studied. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Good job. Thank you so much. Who else wants to try? Just one volunteer more. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh... Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador, in 1985. She graduated from UCA University. She studied there from uh, 2005 to 2011. Then she worked in Molsa for seven years. When she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager for almost for almost 15 years retired. His name was Gonzalo and he worked there since uh, 2015. Today Nicole is a successful person she worked from Monday to Saturday, Saturday and she loved her job. She has not worked there then, but her team support her. Very good. Thank you, teacher. Just on one observation, graduated. Graduated. Mm -hmm. She graduated. Yeah. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, very good. Do you have questions about this? No? Okay. Teacher, what's, what is the translate of retired? Translation, yes. retirado. Retirado, retired. Mm -hmm. okay. Retired. Yeah. Okay, now is your turn about Talk about your work experience by creating a story similar to the one in the exercise number five. Use Thai expressions. 
So we, we're going to use the time expressions that we have here, okay? Try to create a story, okay? Um, okay, the ones that didn't participate in the previous activity, so you can join the, the ideas that you have with this, okay? Puedo unir las ideas que tenían de la, de, de la actividad pasada con esta, okay? And try to use both. Try, try to use could and would and use also time expressions, la, like the ones that we have been learning. For, since, from, then, until, okay? So I will give you 10 minutes. 10 minutes to, to write a um, similar paragraph like this, and then you will read it. Okay, teacher. Do you have questions? Then you're going to present the story of your work experience with the rest of your classmates. <clears throat> The idea here is that you practice, practice writing, speaking, reading, listening, and you are doing all of them, okay? All the skills, you are improving your skills because you are listening, you are listening to me, you are listening to your classmates, so you are practicing listening, you are reading, you are writing, and you are speaking. Okay, is it clear or if you have questions, please let me know. I will give, I will uh, leave here the paragraph. If you want to read it to get some ideas, you can do it. You can start like this. I was born in, uh -huh, you say the place, okay. I get graduated from high school or the, from the university, if you have a university degree, so you can say, I get graduated from the university. Uh -huh, you mentioned the gear. So and you say, you can say, I study from, uh -huh, you mentioned the year, to uh -huh, the, the year, and then the place that you work. I work in, you mentioned the name of the company, and then the years that you have working there, okay? And like you can mention like uh, your dream when you were a child, okay? And the opportunities that you have now and, want, and the opportunities that you want to have in the future, okay? Any idea? Okay, it's 9.31, at uh, 9.40, I will start calling your names. I will prepare the wheels of names. Voy a preparar la ruleta, okay?
Ok, ¿a quiénes no les he pasado asistencia? De, let me see. Yo sí, a mi teacher. Sí. Oh, sí. Yes. Dani Sanchez, are you here? Dani has problems with the internet. Okay, hey, Cell is just the oyente. Okay, hey, Cell. Okay, you have three minutes, two, two minutes.
Okay. Time is over. Okay, let me see who will be the first one. Okay, Carla, Daddy. You can do it. <laughs> yes, Carla. Go ahead. Carla? Carla? Ok, las personas que no me respondan son las que van, las que más van a participar mañana. Ok, aquí lo voy a anotar. Ok, so we're going to continue because Carla didn't answer. Okay, Gilberto. Gilberto. Okay. Uh, my name is Gilberto Santa Maria. My experience 20 years in Salesman. They're from 2003 to 20. Uh, 23. Wow. He worked, he worked a group of, uh, he worked a group of alimentation for six years, then quite three years working import products the the Nicaragua and new opportunity and global import spy sign 2012 until 20, uh, 23. Okay. Finish. Okay, good. So you had 20 years working on that company? Yeah. Wow, since 2003 to 2023. Okay, remember, uh, I worked, okay, the T at the end, yo trabajé, uh -huh. I worked, work, I worked, yeah, try to, 
try to practice, okay? If you consider that one word is difficult for you, take notes, tome nota de la palabra que es difícil, and try to practice by yourself. Okay, thank you. Okay, teacher. okay, good. But yes, thank you so much for sharing your story about your work experience. Okay, let me see who is next. Okay, we'll ver Francisco Javier Martínez. Está, está trucada esa balanza, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, vamos a intentarlo. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I, I am, was born in Santa Tecla, El Salvador. In 1981, mm -hmm. I am graduate graduate from uh, Instituto Nacional de Lourdes. Uh, I studied there uh, from 1996 to 90, no, 1997 to 1999. Okay. Uh, then I worked, uh, then uh, I worked in Alizal, SLSB, okay. for, for seven years. No, uh, nine years. For, for nine, nine years. years, for nine years, uh, then, then, es luego, verdad? Then, uh -huh. después, uh -huh. then, uh, I, No, I don't remember. Okay, don't worry. Only that. Don't worry, but you try. Okay. That, that, that is a good job. Okay, I graduated. I graduated. Mm -hmm. Graduated, okay. And Gra then it graduated. was good. Teacher, how do you say? How do you say egresado? Egresado, I'm not it's sure. almost graduate. Almost. <laughs> I'm not sure. Let me, let me verify. <laughs> almost graduated. Almost graduated. <laughs> okay. Thank let you. me, no, no. Let me see. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can find that. Egresado. Uh, It's like a graduate. Yeah, it says, it says graduate. 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 Me sale. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. graduate. But it's, it's not the same thing. It's, it's almost graduate. <laughs> almost. You can say, right? um, I finished my pension. My pension. Uh huh. And I just waiting okay. for, I'm waiting just for the graduation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah, because there is no good like good. a specific word to say egresado. No. Mm -hmm. Graduate. Okay, good. Let me see who will be next. Thank you so much, Wilbur Francisco. If we don't finish today, so we're going to finish tomorrow, okay? Let me see. 
remember that we have time for this uh, unit. We have two days more, tomorrow and Monday, because Friday is free. Okay, Liliana, Laura, are you there, Liliana? Liliana is the was born, born in San Salvador, in El Salvador. Okay. ¿Cómo decís de 1984? ¿Qué año? ¿Cómo se dice? 1984. Okay. 1984. Mm -hmm. 1984. I I am working in Andan from 2020. <laughs> I worked in Andan. I have been working for three years. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> okay, I have been working in Anda for three years, right? Yeah. Or you can say, uh, I work. I worked since two thousand twenty. I work. Yeah. I work in Anda since two thousand twenty. Uh -huh. um, I am the operator of the plant. Uh -huh. I have other jobs, but this is the best. Is it mejor? <laughs> yes. And after having jobs that I have under press, pressure, the pressure, how do you say? Press. Under pressure. Uh -huh, under pressure. And Corlandry is to the English. Actualmente. ¿Cómo se dice actualmente? Currently. Currently. Uh, currently is to the English. Uh -huh. Okay, currently I'm studying English. I'm studying okay. English. Okay, good. Cool. Okay, very good. So, yeah, make sure to emphasize the pronunciation in word, uh, in in the in the past tense. For example, word. Okay. Word. Uh -huh. If you said, uh, yo trabajé, I worked. Okay. 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 Good. Let's see who is next. Cindy, Janet, are you there? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I was born in Ilopango in 1980. Mm -hmm. I study high school from 2005 to 2008. Mm -hmm. Then I worked at El Salvador for three or four years. I study a couple of years at the technological university, but I haven't finished it yet. Currently, you are still work. You are still studying at the university, right? <laughs> okay. I work at AS El Salvador. And I have an an eleven year old daughter. Finish. Okay, eleven years old daughter. Okay, good, very good, Cindy. Thank you, teacher. Thank you so much. Okay, let me see who is next. <clears throat> okay. Carlos Ernesto. Okay. Um, I was born in La Libertad, El Salvador, in 1984. Uh, I live always in the same place. And I study at uh, Francisco Gaviria University. I work in La Salle from one year. And my role in the company is 
uh, checks the assistant of the of the staff of the different staff of the um, uh, department production and I may be only teacher. You are like the control assistant, right? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Good. Check the assisting of the staff. Uh huh. Okay. Sounds sounds uh that is a good job. Did you like it? Yes, yes, of course. Okay. Okay. Good. Ok, one more, uno más, y los demás se quedan para mañana. Y vamos a hacer la tarea number three, ok? Julio. Uh, hello, yes. my name is Julio Paz. I have been working at Alcaldía de la Unión since uh, to a thousand one. Uh, when I start working, I was working as a family registry assistant mm -hmm. until middle of the new year. Uh, <laughs> Then the next year, I start working in the public purchase unit called UA. And I start working as an assistant in that unit. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks to my work, I finished my studies and graduated in uh, 2012 at the Unigo, San Miguel. I have always liked the idea of being my own boss, uh, starting and having my own business yeah. uh, was my dream. Uh, today, I continue to work at the Alcaldía de la Unión, but I hope soon to be able to dedicate myself to my business. Uh, since I have many plans that, that I hope to implement and to be able to expand my economic income. Very good. Okay, I continue working, okay? I continue working. Okay, um, and what kind of business do you want, Julio? Publicity, um, teachers, sublimate, um, print of banners. Mm -hmm. you know, okay, good idea. Yeah, yeah. is Very that good. is that my my own business? Mm -hmm. Actually, yes. Good, Currently. good, Currently. good. Currently. good dreams. Okay, work for it. And you say you are working. That is perfect. Well, thank you so much, Julio. We are going to uh, do the homework number three. Guys, please open the, the section number one and go to homework three. Let me know when you are ready. Four. We haven't seen Marine Four this party. Science. It since. 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 Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Number two. I have been. Oh, I have been waiting for 
years. Four, four, four. For many years. For many years. Okay. Number three. From seven a.m. to seven p.m. Very good. Number four. I work. I work. That work. Work. Team. I worked there in 2006. Okay, number five. At in a YouTube stepek. In a YouTube I live uh -huh. in a YouTube stepek. Okay. Send it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good job, good job. I can see that you that you learned how to use the time expressions. Very good. Do you have questions about that? Not too sure. Not too sure. No. Okay. Perfect. So that will be everything for today. Well, thank you so much for your attention and your participation. So remember the ones that didn't uh, pass or participate today in the activity to uh, about the story about your work experience, you're going to do it tomorrow. You are pending here. Okay, guys, see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a good night. See you, good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.